I'm honored to represent the United States Air Force in introducing to you the new uniform items which will be worn by WAF, nurses, flight and women medical specialists. This uniform has been designed by the clothing branch of Air Materiel Command in close cooperation with the leading manufacturers of this country. We're delighted with the uniform and do hope that you'll enjoy wearing it. The first model is wearing the new Air Force women's blue uniform and overcoat with enlisted insignia. The overcoat is shade 156 blue and is 15 ounce true gabardine. It is fitted with a convertible collar and may be worn open or closed. It also has a half belt to enhance the military appearance of the coat. And there are two inverted pleats in the back. One of its best features is that it is completely seasonal with its removable lining. Note the modified stripes of the new Air Force 3 inch chevrons for its women, designed specifically for adaption in size to a woman's arm. Here is the basic uniform in blue shade 84, the same shade as the men's uniform. The five gourd skirt with inverted box pleats gives the silhouette lines to the skirt and permits complete freedom in walking. The hat, which is the dress hat for both officers and enlisted personnel, provides interchangeable top coverings to harmonize with different uniforms. The gloves are gray double woven cotton of shade 163, and they are a standard item of apparel with the blue uniform. The scarf is of the identical material and will also be a standard item. Now we see the blue duty shirtwaist in an Oxford weave material, which is authorized for duty wear by both officers and enlisted women. The under tab of the collar, which replaces the old tie, is shade 83 blue, same color as the men's necktie. For contrast, the model is putting on the new flight cap. It is also of shade 84, and is designed for functional wear. This flight cap has taken the most desirable features of the old overseas cap, but has a distinctive new personality. The sides are reinforced to retain its original shape. The center seam is completely utilitarian in that it provides for easy removal and folding without destroying its shape. The service being given by the airman is not one of his duties. We thought you would like to see how the airmen look together in their new uniforms. As you know, the Air Force does call both its enlisted men and women airmen. Here is the same basic blue uniform with officer insignia. There is no difference between the uniforms for officers and enlisted women except for the change in insignia and the addition of braid on the officer's coat sleeve. The blue uniforms will be standard in 12-ounce serge, or for optional wear and purchase, maybe in 12-ounce true gabardine. The overcoat will be standard in 15-ounce true gabardine. Here are more items of the new women's wardrobe. This model is wearing the white off-duty dress shirtwaist. It has long sleeves, and may be worn with or without French cuffs. The short sleeve duty shirtwaist have been designed with yokes and plenty of fullness in the back to provide freedom of movement. This off-duty shirtwaist has a plain dressed back with a French front closure to enhance its dressiness. The new Air Force women's purse is a black calfskin 
and will be capable of holding the many papers and feminine articles so necessary to women. The gloves fit in this front compartment, and there are no less than four compartments in the back section. The under flap of the purse is lined with soft gray kid. The clasp, appropriately, is a miniature oxidized reproduction of the Air Force seal. It is the standard cap of the Air Force 36 line button. The officer insignia on the dress hat is the same insignia as is presently worn by Air Force cadets. It is smaller in design than the conventional officer's great seal of the United States. The rolled brim of the dress hat is shade 84. The gray top cover is authorized for wear with a blue uniform. Now here are the officer and enlisted women's uniforms together, so that you may see they are completely identical. Note the shaped flaps on the lower pockets, which design is carried throughout the entire wardrobe, including the flap on the purse. The raincoat and galoshes are practical as well as smart. The raincoat is designed for year-round wear and has ample side-opening pockets. The hood is detachable and easily removed. It has an ample flanged collar of the same lightweight nylon and viscose fabric. The raincoat and hood fit easily into the small carrying case, which is used as a protective covering for the purse whenever the raincoat is warm. The galoshes have side opening zippers to facilitate putting them on and taking them off. This flight suit is not yet an approved item of uniform. However, it is the flight suit selected for testing purposes. It features the same type flight jacket as worn by the men in the Air Force. This jacket, when finally approved, may also be worn with a skirt, interchangeably with a blue uniform coat. These suits will be thoroughly tested by our flight nurses and may eventually be worn by all women in the Air Force while traveling in military aircraft or on specialized duty. From winter and rain, we step into summer and introduce the new summer cotton corded duty dress. It is a two-piece suit of corded fabric with a full form guard skirt. The fine blue, black, and white stripes blend into a solid cast of silvery blue. It is easily laundered, will be cool in the most humid, hot weather, and still retain its fresh look. Here you may see the adaptability of the new dress hat. This is the same basic frame with its corded cover to match the summer duty uniform. Note the smartly pointed cuffs on this uniform with smooth Air Force button closure. They add a neat and feminine touch to the uniform. Other items of the uniform are the same for both winter and summer wear, except for the white gloves of double woven cotton worn with this corded uniform which is to be worn on duty by enlisted personnel and by all officers while on duty with troops. And here is a summer cord coat that may be worn with the same flared skirt and with a white short-sleeved Oxford weave shirtwaist. It is a modified design of the basic uniform coat. The difference is that it is slightly shorter than the basic coat. Coat and shirtwaist may be worn as optional items by officers and enlisted women when not in formation with troops and when the duty dress is not specifically prescribed. Here's an optional white uniform for off-duty, semi-formal summer occasions in either white wool or wool combination fabrics. Worn with it is the white dress shirtwaist, sheer hose, white gloves, and plain white pumps of commercial design. And isn't the new dress hat effective with its white top? You may be certain both officer and enlisted personnel will welcome opportunities to wear this smart-looking ensemble. Here is the complete collection of the new official Air Force uniform for all its women, WAFs, nurses, flight nurses, and women medical specialists. <laughs>